The test of digital dollars has begun. Complete control of your money is coming. <laughs> and unfortunately, 666. Are you ready for the government to monitor what you buy and sell on a daily basis? Are you ready for them to turn off your bank account as punishment for something innocent that you said online? Are you ready for them to seize every penny of savings that you've had in what they term a quote national emergency? You know, something like the government can't pay its bills. <laughs> we know that's coming. Well, ready or not, these things are coming and they're coming soon because these are the things that likely will happen if you start using the new digital dollar that they're testing. Before we start discussing it, a shout out to Rick Knight, longtime member of this community who often provides us with research such as this video. We have been talking about digital currency for ages now, really, since I first became a Christian back in 1992. Back then, we were discussing the RFID chip and how it could control buying and selling. A digital control of money, like that of course, requires a digital dollar. So Christians have known digital money would be coming sometime prior to the tribulation in the mark of the beast for a very long time. It is a necessary precursor to the mark of the beast. And now they're testing it in the USA. This is an enormous sign of the end times. We will also talk about how the government will likely confiscate things to completely control the financial system. Things like gold, silver, crypto, maybe even food. So please listen to the rest of this video. So how soon are they going to roll it out? How soon will you be forced to use it? How soon before they confiscate other forms of exchange like crypto and gold? We're going to talk about all of that today. Using the new digital dollar will likely be voluntary at first, but the elite consider digital currencies to be the key to a whole new era of strict governmental control over the way we live our lives and there would be so much potential for abuse they are going to want it to be mandatory. That's why it will soon become mandatory and that's why they don't want the current crypto system that we have or gold. Now on November 15th they started an extremely ambitious 12-week test of the digital dollar. The New York Federal Reserve is running the test along with the following financial companies, Citigroup, HSBC, MasterCard, and Wells Fargo Company. Uh, the test will be conducted in a test environment and will be using simulated data. That's all according to the New York Fed. It was just last January that the Fed released a discussion paper on the possibility of a digital dollar. The Fed did not meet with too much resistance during that stage, so now they're moving on to a full testing of the digital dollar that they have come up with. And I bet you haven't seen that on the national media, have you? But it's taking place. November 15th was the first day. The digital dollar would be very similar to Bitcoin and other popular cryptocurrencies. It'd be a blockchain currency, but with one enormous difference. Instead of a decentralized system like Bitcoin, the government would control the currency, have the ability to track each and every single transaction, and the ability to seize your money with a moment's notice. And this, of course, is why the governments of the world want to eliminate cryptocurrencies. They can't control the ones we have now. And if they can't control them, they really can't control you or me. They need an airtight financial system where they control each and every transaction. That means no cash, no gold, no silver, no crypto. They want to funnel everything into this one system. Michael Meharry of Shift Gold has this to say, quote, imagine if there was no cash, it would be impossible to hide even the smallest transaction from the government's eyes. Something as simple as your morning trip to Starbucks wouldn't be a secret to government officials. Something like giving your granddaughter $10 for her birthday wouldn't be secret anymore.
As Bloomberg put it in an article, published when China launched its digital yuan pilot program, digital currency offers China's authorities a degree of control never possible with physical money in the history of the world. Of course, monitoring is only half the problem. The government could even turn off an individual's ability to make purchases. If they don't want you buying at Starbucks, they could stop it. If they don't want you eating meat, they could prohibit your digital dollars from buying meat products. They could say, oh, you've a lot used your allotted $40 of meat this month. You can't buy it out at a restaurant and you can't buy it in a supermarket. I could absolutely see that kind of thing happening. And of course, if you wanted to contribute to your church or to a ministry like our ministry, Last Days Overcomers, they could selectively shut off Christian causes if they wanted to, or they could shut your account off completely, prohibiting you from buying and selling, <laughs> you know, Mark of the Beast style, a complete shutdown. They could starve you until you comply with them. This is one major reason why Marquis Lachlan, Jake McCandless, and I decided to start Last Day's Overcomers, to hold conferences throughout the USA to inform Christians about what to do when things like this happen, what to do when the Fed takes our freedoms and our money away, what to do when wars or civil wars start, what to do in pandemics, etc. These conferences aren't about when these things are going to happen, but about what to do when they happen, what you can do for your family and for others. That makes them different than any other end time conferences that I know of. Down in the description is a link to our brand new website where you can learn more, where you can download our free ebook, 10 Signs the Last Days Have Already Begun, and where you can pay it forward to help fund the very first of these conferences so we can get the ball rolling. We really need your help. Now, back to the digital dollar. Some U.S. politicians like Oklahoma Senator James Langsford have already seen the danger in all of this. He introduced the No Digital Dollar Act, which would require the U.S. Treasury to keep printing money even if the government issues the original digital currency. So it would be completely optional and there would still be paper money available. Unfortunately, that sort of bill is extremely unlikely to get through Congress. Most of our leaders seem quite eager to exploit the authoritarian power inherent in digital money. And as we said, you haven't heard a peep about this digital dollar test on any of the national media. So ask yourself why. Why aren't politicians talking about it? Why isn't the media talking about it? Because they're all in on it. So when I see massive problems in the crypto market, like the recent crash of the FTX exchange, I wonder to myself, who's pulling the strings? Remember, the Fed wants to cripple all crypto. So is this just one more step in their plan to do that? And if you think gold and silver are gonna be safe and you've been putting some away, the USA has confiscated gold in the past. In 1933, after the Great Depression crash, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt confiscated all gold in the USA. Will it happen again? I am 99% sure it will. Remember, in order to prevent buying and selling, as the mark of the beast of Revelation 13 is requiring, they will have to eliminate all other means of exchange. So that requires digital currency and precious metals to be taken away by the government. Expect this to happen. If you're planning on those as your fallback, you're probably not thinking it through completely. It's also likely that the government will confiscate food that you've stored, or at least try to. So you heard me say that. Government will likely try to take away your food also. And they'll do this saying that it's needed for the famine and they are better at distributing it. <laughs> to the ones who really need it. Now, I completely agree that food is going to be needed in famines, but the government aren't the ones to distribute it. You are. God put that on your shoulders. In Matthew 24, verses 45 and 46, he said, 
at the appointed time, we were to feed his household. Now, you are the ones that are then to help your neighbors, but the government is going to want to do it. They're going to want the food so they can control people who are hungry, but they won't be able to control the people who have food. When the government asks you to voluntarily surrender your food that you've been storing, think twice. Think about putting it somewhere where maybe they won't find it because they may come door to door for it. Another important thing that they can't control and probably never will be able to control is barter. Not only food can be stored and provided to others, but other things of value, wood for fires if oil is in short supply, and lighters to light it. This is the way we need to be thinking about these things. It will soon be a whole new, frightening, great reset world. We need to think outside the box. Prior to confiscating our gold, ammo, and food, the government will likely implement digital ID so that they can track our movements. Even conservative states are quietly implementing digital ID, maybe even your state. Remember, I said there were conservative states doing this too. Click right here to keep watching and discover what is being done behind your back in the deep recesses of our state governments. As we said, even conservative states are doing this. Till then, this is Nelson, and I'll see you there.